G'day boys and girls, Bernard here. I want to talk to you today about doors. We've all got doors in our houses, don't we? There's our front door. There's my front door. And it's a door that you can open and shut. There's my study door. That's a door that slides backwards and forwards. Now I want to show you my favourite door. I'm going to stand in front of it. Because if I stand facing it, I might be tempted. It's the door to my pantry. And it's really true because it's right next to the door to my fridge. If I open that door, I can eat lots of really good tucker. And it's the same with the fridge. We've all got doors in our houses, don't we? Doors that open, doors that shut. And you open a door to go through it. And you shut a door so you can't go through it. Well, do you know what? In today's passage, and now I've walked through the door into my study, in today's passage, which is in Colossians chapter 4, and looking at verse 3, we hear about doors. Let me read it to you. Colossians chapter 4, verse 3. At the same time, Paul's writing this, pray also for us that God may open a door to us for the message to speak the mystery of the Messiah for which I'm in prison, so that I may reveal it as I'm required to speak. Did you catch where Paul was when he wrote that? He's in prison. Now, in prison, all the doors are shut, and they're locked, and they're barred, and you can't get through them. But Paul doesn't pray for those doors to be opened so he could escape. He doesn't pray that doors be opened so he could get better tucker. He doesn't pray the doors are open so he can get a more comfy bed and a better desk chair. Paul does ask for people to pray that doors are open so he can speak the message about Jesus and that goes through the doors. It's picture language that Paul uses to encourage people to pray for him so that he'll have the opportunity to speak about Jesus and for that message to go through into people's lives. Now that got me thinking. We're all in that situation, aren't we? And so I want to encourage you to think about three things this week as you open doors. Because you're going to open a lot of doors this week. Sometimes it'll be the front door. Sometimes it'll be the door to your car. Sometimes it'll be the door to the pantry. Sometimes the door to the fridge. Sometimes the door to the backyard. Every time you open a door this week, I want you to think of three things. First, I want you to remember the message about Jesus. That he lived, died and rose for our sins according to the scripture. He lived, died and rose for our sins according to the scriptures. Second, I want you to remember to pray to pray for people who know Jesus, to have the opportunity to speak about Jesus out in the world we live in. And third, I want you to pray a very simple prayer for yourself. It goes something like this. Dear God, please open doors so that I can speak about Jesus and live in such a way that people meet him. Amen. So there you go, boys and girls. This week, remember those three things when you open doors. The message about Jesus, praying for others to be able to speak about Jesus, praying that you can speak about Jesus to people you meet all over the place. Have a great week.